A private investigator is hired to find an unlucky man's high school sweetheart. However, he also falls under the charming lady's spell, thus beginning a strange battle of lies and deceit to win Mary's heart. High school student Ted tries to get a date for prom but to no avail. As he hangs out with his friends later, the lovely Mary arrives at school, catching their attention. However, one of his friends Bob reveals that Mary is already dating a jock from another school named Woogie, so they have no chance with her. Just then, a mentor mentally challenged man named Warren gets tricked into angering another student. This starts a fight so Ted intervenes, reminding the angry man that Warren isn't thinking straight. Still, the man pushes him off and tries to attack. Luckily, Mary defends them, revealing that Warren is her brother. This makes the angry student back off. Mary then thanks Ted for defending her brother. With this, the two become friends, and Ted even walks home with the siblings after school. To his surprise, Mary also invites him to go to prom together. Stunned, Ted says yes. On prom day, however, Mary's stepfather, Charlie, tells Ted that Mary already left with her boyfriend, Woogie. This breaks Ted's heart, only for Mary's mother, Sheila, to reveal that the man was fooling him as her daughter is in her room, waiting for him. With that, Ted heads in and is stunned to see Mary all dolled up. To further endear himself to the family, the young man tries to give Warren a baseball. However, when he reaches around his ear to perform a magic trick, the confused man panics and throws him down. His sister reveals that Warren is sensitive about his ears, so he panics when someone tries to touch him there. The commotion has led to Mary's dress getting ruined, so she heads upstairs to fix it. While she does, Ted goes to the restroom but accidentally sees his date getting dressed in her bedroom through the window. This makes Mary and her mother panic, and Ted rushes to leave the bathroom to explain, only to get his zipper stuck somewhere painful. Hearing him scream, Mary's family grows concerned. Charlie goes to check on him but is horrified to see what happened. He asks his wife for help, and as they deal with the problem, an officer peers through the window since their neighbors reported Ted's scream. A firefighter arrives moments later, thus growing the audience for his awkward and painful situation. The officer proceeds to fix the mess, but this only gets Ted sent to the ambulance. Thirteen years later, Ted recounts these events, unaware that his therapist has stepped out for a snack before sneaking back into his chair. The patient adds that Mary moved to Florida within the following months, so he never saw her again. Recently, he hasn't been able to stop thinking about Mary, so he asks for advice. However, since he missed most of his story, his therapist just wonders if Ted's more feminine than he appears to be. The man complains about this to his friend Dom, adding that he feels like a loser given that his life has become stagnant. He later compares himself to his best friend, who has a loving wife and two kids. Ted claims he's only ever been in love with Mary, but he hasn't been able to find her to reconnect. Dom suggests hiring a private investigator, but Ted thinks doing so is creepy. Despite this, Ted eventually meets with the investigator Healy, whom Dom recommended. However, the man suspects that Ted's searching for Mary to stalk her or have her killed. Still, he accepts the job. Soon, Healy heads to Florida and starts following Mary, whom he found through an officer he used to work with. He sees her waking up one morning and greeting her neighbor, Magda, who uses radios to spy on their neighbor's conversations. As the day goes on, Healy discovers how Mary is a friend to many and maintains an active lifestyle. She also volunteers at a center for the physically and mentally challenged, of which Warren is a member. He then eavesdrops on their conversation with her friends over lunch. There, he learns that Mary wants to be with a man who likes sports and is self-employed, like an architect. This way, he'd have the time and energy to spend with her and her brother, even taking them to places like Nepal. However, her friends point out that Mary often changes her mind, especially regarding her romances. When she denies this, they ask her about her last ex-boyfriend, Brett. So she explains that she dumped him because he didn't want her brother around. As time goes on, Healy finds himself falling for Mary. Days later, the investigator meets with Ted and tells her that he found his high school love. However, he lies that the woman is now a troubled single mother to four children. This leaves Ted baffled, convinced that Mary isn't the same person he knew. Despite this, he still can't stop thinking about her that evening, so he goes to Healy the next day, only to find that he's quit his job to move to Miami. The investigator lies that he took a job offer there, so Ted asks for Mary's details, hoping he can reconnect with her and help her. Thinking quickly, Healy lies that Mary's heading to Japan for an arranged marriage, shocking him. 
Dom laughs at his predicament when he learns about this later on. He thinks that Ted dodged a bullet, but the man doesn't share the sentiment. Unbeknownst to him, Healy's moved to Florida to befriend Mary. He signs up for the golf course she goes to, but the woman seems uninterested in him. This changes when he claims to have gotten back from Nepal. Interested, she casually starts a conversation with him later at the parking lot. As Healy opens his car door, blueprints spill out, leading Mary to think that he's an architect. He furthers his lie by claiming that he also volunteers for the mentally challenged. Mary grows interested in him because of this, just like he planned. Meanwhile, Ted ends up helping his boss's brother move furniture. This hurts his back, so he sees Bob afterwards since his friend is now a chiropractor. While Bob tends to his injury, Ted mentions his attempt at reconnecting with Mary. To his surprise, Bob reveals that he just saw the pretty lady months ago at a convention. He shares that the woman is an orthopedic surgeon. Thus, Ted realizes that Healy lied to him. With this, Ted interrupts Dom's meeting to deliver the news. He thinks Healy never really found Mary, so he made up the story about her. With newfound hope, Ted decides to drive up to Florida to meet her. Unbeknownst to him, Mary prepares for her date with Healy. However, Magda is suspicious about the man, so she shares with her neighbor that her dog Puffy can smell bad people. If he barks at her date, he's bad news. Healy hears this as he's using spy gear to listen in on Mary's conversations. So before meeting the lady, he drops a treat with a sedative into Magda's mail slot. Puffy happily eats the treat, causing him to be docile when Healy arrives to meet Mary. This surprises the ladies, as Puffy is usually suspicious of strangers. Because of this, Magda starts flirting with Healy. Concerned, Mary takes her to the kitchen to fetch their guest a drink and keep Magda away from him. As they leave, however, Healy realizes that the sedative might have been too strong for the dog. The man desperately tries to revive Puffy while asking for more things from the kitchen to keep the women busy. Lucky for him, the dog finally wakes up before the women arrive. The couple then heads out to their date, but Mary surprises Healy with a trip to the architectural exhibit. With no choice, Healy comes up with random things to make it sound like he knows about architecture. Unfortunately for him, Mary sees her friend Tucker, an architect and a former patient of hers who still uses crutches. The other man tries to strike up a conversation about architecture with Healy, so the fraud pretends to see someone he knows to escape. Meanwhile, Ted is on his 15th hour drive to Florida and picks up a hitchhiker. The stranger points out that it's illegal to pick up hitchhikers now, but Ted dismisses it. The man then claims to be starting a new business and invites him to invest in it. However, his rambling about his ideas makes Ted uncomfortable, so he parks into a stopover to relieve himself. To his misfortune, the area he goes into is a secret rendezvous for men looking for satisfaction. Officers arrive to raid the area, so the hitchhiker in Ted's car abandons his suspicious bag and runs. The raid is reported on the news, where Dom sees his friend getting arrested. Elsewhere, Mary and Healy continue their date, with the liar continuously using the information he dug up on her to attract her further. Because of this, Mary allows her date to touch her before they part ways. Contrary to Healy's luck, Ted gets suspected of being a killer, given the body in the bag they found in his car. However, Ted mistakes that they're just charging him for picking up a hitchhiker, so he confesses to it. This leads one of the detectives to think he's a psychopath, so he beats him. The following day, Ted is released from jail after the hitchhiker was arrested. The man confessed to the murder, and his fingerprints confirmed his connection to the victim. Thus, Ted is off the hook. Dom picks him up, calling him lucky since the hitchhiker might have killed him. He also reveals that his assistant chanced upon Healy's former landlady, and he told her stories about falling in love with Mary. This confirms that the private investigator lied so he'd have a chance with Ted's first love. Meanwhile, Tucker visits Mary in her office to share his suspicions about Healy, given that he's confirmed that he's not a licensed architect. The investigator gets pissed, having heard this since he's also bugged the woman's office. Because of Tucker's news, Mary invites her friends to discuss what she must do with her date. They think she should dump him, but Magda suddenly calls them as her radios have picked up a call between Healy and his friend. Unbeknownst to them, Healy has scripted this conversation to make himself sound more empathetic despite his lies. He claims to have been left in poverty after serving most of his years in the Peace Corps. Hence, he thought he couldn't be with someone like Mary unless he lied. This convinces Mary and her friends that he's a good man, so the woman immediately kisses him when he visits later. The next day, Mary invites Healy to spend time with Warren. Dom and Ted find the trio after they have lunch. 
Beach, confirming that the investigator has tricked his way into Mary's heart. Just then, Healy touches Warren's headphones, leading him to getting punched in the throat. Mary apologizes and explains that Warren only allows people he trusts near his ears. Not wanting to lose face, her date says goodbye and leaves. Dom thinks this is Ted's moment to get his chance with Mary, but he's hesitant, thinking that she'll be angry at him for sending Healy to her. Still, Dom calls out the woman, then hides. So when she looks their way, she only spots Ted. With no choice, Ted goes to the woman and pretends to be there coincidentally. They then catch up, and Mary shares how she had to change her last name after getting stalked by her high school boyfriend. This was the reason why Ted struggled to look her up before. With that, Ted invites her to have dinner that evening. Mary claims she has plans, but the man jokingly advises her to ditch her date so they can hang out. To his surprise, she agrees. That evening, Healy eavesdrops on Mary's conversation with Magda, learning that she met Ted and is going out with him. Furthermore, the woman shares how she's no longer interested in Healy. She only dated him since she thought that he was the right man for her. Ultimately, she never truly felt a connection with him, so she's deciding to call it quits. Just then, Tucker visits Mary and reveals that he's contacted someone from the police to look up Healy. From there, he discovered that Healy had a string of crimes in his records, including murder. Hearing this, an angry Healy follows Tucker after he leaves her home and discovers that the man's actually a pizza delivery guy who doesn't need crutches. The investigator confronts him, thinking that Ted hired him to ruin his chances with Mary. Instead, Tucker confesses that his real name is Norm, and he's been lying about his identity since he's also in love with Mary. Meanwhile, Dom convinces Ted that he needs to satisfy himself so he's more confident before meeting his dream girl. Because of this, the man does his business in his hotel bathroom but doesn't notice where the fluids went. Mary then arrives, so he goes to meet her, only for her to notice something sticky hanging by his ear. Realizing what it is, Ted lies that it's hair gel, so the woman asks for some and puts it on her hair, much to his horror. Their date goes on with Mary's hair sticking up, though she doesn't notice. The two reconnect throughout the night, with a lady even hinting that she wants him to move to Florida so they can be together. She then shares her misfortune in romance, noting how she almost married her ex-boyfriend Brett until she discovered that he hated her brother. Unbeknownst to them, Healy and Norm discover them hanging out in front of Mary's house. Unwilling to give Ted a chance, the two work together to sneak stimulants to feed Puffy, though they accidentally drop some into Magda's drink too. Because of this, when Mary and Ted arrive at the house, they find Magda cleaning in a frenzy while Puffy attacks the man. Instinctively, Ted fights back in self-defense, ultimately leading the dog to jump out the window. Despite this, Ted and Mary spend days together, even picking up the recovering dog from the vet. Ted also forms a bond with Warren, making the woman feel like she finally has the man of her dreams. This effectively gets ruined when she receives an anonymous letter revealing how Ted hired Healy to spy on her. The man tries to defend that he didn't know Healy had ulterior motives but the woman is convinced that he did this to trick her into falling for him. With that, she tells him to leave. Heartbroken, Ted turns away. Before he leaves, he finally confesses that he hasn't been able to stop thinking of Mary. He believed that he couldn't be happy without her, so he was desperate to find her. This makes Mary reconsider, though the man walks away afterward. Ted then finds Healy's apartment and ambushes him just as he returns with Norm. The investigator defends that he also fell for Mary, so he couldn't let her fall into the hands of a stalker like Ted. Given how Healy tricked her into dating him, the man finds this ironic. He then accuses him of sending Mary the letter about their deal, but the investigator denies this. Instead, he accuses Norm of sending the letter to ruin both his and Ted's chances. The delivery man denies this too, telling him that they should thank him since he's the one who got rid of Mary's ex-boyfriend. Apparently, Norm was the one who spread rumors that Brett hated Warren, thus convincing Mary to dump him. Unbeknownst to the trio, the person who sent the letter surprises Mary in her apartment. It's Don who's apparently her ex-boyfriend and stalker from high school, Woogie. She points out that she has a restraining order against him, but the crazed man assures her that he's been in therapy. However, his progress was ruined when she returned to his life. Mary argues that she doesn't even know how he found her, asserting that she abandoned her old life because of what he did to her, like stealing her shoes. With that, she asks him to leave. Instead, Dom approaches the woman, demanding to take something to remember her by. Luckily, Norman Healy are eavesdropping in Mary's apartment so they rush to her aid upon hearing the commotion. When they arrive, they find Dom stealing Mary's shoes, so the men throw him down on the couch. 
However, this also reveals to the woman that the man she knew as Tucker was a fake too. Ted then arrives, confused as to why his best friend is there. Dom declares that he ruined his relationship with Mary in high school, but the woman insists that they broke up before she went out with Ted to prom. This finally leads Ted to realize that his best friend was her obsessive ex, Woogie. Hearing the commotion, Magda checks in on them, confused about what's happening. Healy takes the chance to explain that all four of them are in love with Mary, so he demands that she choose between them now. To their surprise, Mary's last ex, Brett, arrives with Warren. Ted called him after learning that Norm lied about Brett not wanting to be around her brother. With that in mind, he wanted Mary to have a chance to reconnect with a man who might be the right guy for her. After seeing what Norm and Healy did, Ted also realized that he was no better than them. None of them were actually in love with her. Instead, they're just obsessed with how she makes them feel. The other guys refute this claim, but Ted shrugs them off. He just wishes Brett good luck, then touches Warren's headphones to say goodbye, which surprises Mary given how her brother hates people close to his ear. Despite his calm farewell, Ted weeps in heartbreak on his way to his car. To his surprise, Mary runs to catch up to him. She asks if he meant it when he said that she should be with Brett. The man confirms, adding that he just wants her to be happy. However, Mary reveals that she is happiest when she is with him. Hearing this, Ted goes to her and kisses the woman of his dreams, finally earning the affection of the lovely and coveted Mary. Subscribe to watch more videos like this. Turn on notifications and leave a like to help the channel out. Thank you for watching.